In the 18th century, there was a beautiful Southern Virginia girl named Martha. Martha's family was very wealthy and she got to go to England to go study. Martha decided to leave a portrait of herself behind so her family has something to remember her by. Martha eventually married a handsome Englishman and she decided to live out her days in England. Somewhere along the line, the portrait of Martha was known as Aunt Pratt, but no one knows where the name Pratt actually came from. When Martha married, her name changed to Martha Griffin. The legend of the haunted Aunt Pratt painting begins in 1858, long after Martha's death. Legend has it, all of a sudden, the painting just started to go crazy. The painting would just constantly rock against whatever wall it was placed on. The current owners of the estate decided to move the painting into the attic, but that only made things worse. It didn't take long for the painting to get a name for itself among the community. After the Civil War, they decided to hang the painting on the first floor in honor of Martha Griffin. That did not seem to make the possessed painting any happier. Every night like clockwork, the painting would cause a ruckus throughout the house. It would constantly bang on the walls. So they finally decided to hang the painting in Martha's old room on the second floor. Now this seemed to work as the painting remained silent while hanging in Martha's old room. The legend of this painting is very famous in Southern Virginia. Now it was time for the world to see what this portrait is capable of. In 1974, the Virginia Travel Council took the painting to Rockefeller Plaza in New York. Rockefeller Plaza was hosting a paranormal phenomena exhibit. The Aunt Pratt painting was not shy at all. Once placed in a display window, the painting started to rock violently. It was the talk of the exhibit as all the visitors witnessed this phenomena firsthand. This haunted object caused such a disturbance that they had to remove it from the exhibit. Later that night, the workers heard very odd sounds coming from the painting. At times, it even sounded as if the painting was crying. The workers were terrified. That morning, the painting was found on the floor outside the locker room with a very damaged frame. Some thought it was as if the painting was trying to make a run for it. When taken for repair back in Virginia, the workers started hearing bells. It was driving them mad as there was no bells anywhere nearby. Finally, the portrait of Martha was placed back in her old bedroom on the second floor in the old Virginia plantation. As long as the portrait of Martha remains hanging in her old bedroom, it will stay happy and it will behave. Now, if it wasn't for the Rockefeller Plaza exhibit, I would assume most people would just figure that these amazing stories passed down about this 18th century portrait was just your average good old fashioned ghost story. But the world got front row seats in 1974 and saw firsthand that haunted objects and paranormal phenomena in general does exist in our world. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned as we uncover the world's most hunted objects.